Hi, good to see you back on the Gapster channel. I'm Gabby, and today I'm going to talk to you about a DIY DAC that you can build. It's under $100 to build, and it's very awesome. It's uh, so awesome that I decided to do this video about it. And uh, what's really cool also, it uses a vintage chip, which is out in my alley. It's a 1387 chip by Philips from the old days and it's used eight of them in parallel. Uh, the story behind it is uh, one of my subscribers, uh, Mark, uh, contacted me and said, Gabby, have you heard this uh, DAC based on the 1387 uh, chips? And I said, no. I said, you really have to listen to it. It's really amazing, and I'm going to send you one. Just listen to it. I said, OK, I'll, I'll try to listen to it and I'll give it a try. At first I thought, well, he's trying to push, uh, you know, cheap DAX uh, to promote it on my channel. And I just realized that he's actually not selling anything. He's giving you all the information out there and how to do it and all the information. He's just trying to get the words out about it. Uh, this DAC is called the Proto DAC. And like I said, it's based on the vintage Philips 1387 chip, uh, eight of them in parallel. And uh, that's what's cool about it is this kind of design doesn't need a lot of components. You just need very few parts and it's really simple. It only needs one five volt uh, power supply. So it's also even better and it fits right into a Raspberry Pi and it feeds from it. And it's so simple to implement. And so you can't really go wrong. And the sound quality is pretty amazing. And I did try it and I was actually blown away. I did not expect to hear that kind of quality from such a inexpensive uh, chips. So here is the protodac. As you can see, it is mounted on a Raspberry Pi system. Below the Raspberry Pi, there is the uh, pure Pi. Uh, so that's what's feeding it with some good power supply from me in Canada there. And uh, also we have a FIFO Pi uh, Q7. So it's a reclocker. Now you don't have to use any of these. You can plug in the protodac straight into the Raspberry Pi if you want to keep your cost down. A step above that you can use the uh, Kali by Allo. But uh, if you're going to go that way, I would rather you use the uh, uh, Ian Canada has a 54 Pi that's called the MA and it's about the same price and it's a little nicer and at least you can replace the clocks if you feel like changing the clocks because with the Kali I don't think you can change the clocks they're kind of you're stuck with whatever they give you there. Uh, in this case I'm using the Q7 which is a really high-end uh, reclocker. Also Mark sent me the proto DAC with some of his uh, nice uh, uh, capacitors and also the uh, fourth uh, resistors. Uh, we'll talk about those a little bit later in detail. But uh, just to give you like a just a summary is what I'm trying to say is this DAC can be built as cheap as you want but you can also spend a little bit more and make a really good DAC out of it and that's what we're trying to do here in this case. So to build the protodac is very, very simple. Uh, it's, there's not too many parts, as I said. So these are all the parts that you need. So you need to get the board. And the board, you can download the Gerber files. They are free of charge. And you can send them to any of your favorite places. So they make, can uh, make a board for you, like PC. B-Way or JLPCB and they're fairly cheap. You can get them for like under 10 bucks. And uh, so the PCB is fairly simple. On the bottom you have to solder the uh, GPIO 40 pin. And uh, the main uh, part of the protodac is like we talked about earlier. Uh, these are the little Philips chips, the 1387. There's eight of them in parallel. And on the bottom of that there are some capacitors soldered. Don't be afraid, you do not have to assemble this. You can buy this off uh, places like AliExpress and that's uh, fairly, fairly cheap. They're about 10 bucks, believe it or not. So they're really inexpensive. Now don't let that cheap price fool you. Just because these are vintage 
parts, and there's a quite a few of them available. Don't let that think that they are not capable. When you put eight of them together, these are really, really good, uh, sonically anyway, at least. And uh, so, yeah, so this comes assembled like this. All you have to do is solder this on the board. There's two capacitors that are film capacitors and two electrolytic capacitors and three little resistors, and that's about it. So here it is, it's assembled. I forgot to mention, I also need the two, uh, four resistors, and the quality of these resistors dictates the sound as well. Uh, z foils are really good resistors to have, so these are a couple of z foils resistors. And of course, the, uh, you need the RCA uh, jacks as well. So, uh, so it's really, really simple to build, pretty much anybody with very little experience can can build that and if you can't build it yourself i'm sure you might be able to find a friend or someone that can put it together for you because it's really it only takes 10 minutes to put together so like i said there really there's no charge for I'll, I'll put a link to all the information on how to assemble it mark has a very uh, elaborate site uh, that uh, mood audio uh, agreed to host on their site and uh, and he explains everything in detail and how to put this thing together. There's also a forum about it and there's a whole lot of people that really love this system and they talk about it. You can join the forum and, and discuss and ask questions and, and all of that. And like I said, he's not charging anything for all this information. So if you have a Raspberry Pi laying around, you really want to try it, you can actually source all these parts for less than $30. If you don't want to spend a fortune on some great capacitors, give it a try and then if you feel like it's got potential, then you can, uh, you know, think around with putting, giving it some better uh, capacitors and better uh, four resistors. And uh, if you do all that and you think you like it, you, and you might be surprised that uh, once you turn it on, they say, wow, for such little amount of money, I could get some really good sound without spending a fortune, something that I built myself. And if you want to improve it more, you can, like I said, put a reclocker. Uh, I would recommend something like the FIFO MA. Um, uh, it's around a hundred uh, US dollars. Or if you want to go with the Alorut, Kali has one for about the same price. But uh, again, the Kali cannot replace the, uh, the clocks. Uh, they're pretty much bolted on that thing. And I prefer the Encanto one because you got some more versatility in the way you can give it some better power and all of that. And there's a whole system that you can use around it. Pi uh, so power supply system that he's got, which goes it runs on ultra capacitors. And there's a couple of batteries actually on the underneath here. So it uses batteries and ultra capacitors. So you can get some really nice, uh, power supply for you know for a really reasonable amount of money and then you can just give it some uh, power from any 5 volt uh, that you have laying around I if you don't have one the iFi I recommend actually I talked a bit in this about this in a previous video if you want to uh, I'll put a link for it below actually in the description so how does it sound? It sounds really, really good. I was actually, I was not expecting to sound the way it sounded. When you think about how much this thing costs and how easy it is to build, you would think, oh, it's just another really lame DAC. But it's not, it's actually a very, very good DAC. It can rival some of the really, really expensive DACs. And uh, I think all you need to do is just give it a try if you seem to be interested. I also gave it a try without the uh, pure Pi underneath. So here we have just a Raspberry Pi, the 5 q 7 with the Crystal clocks. I've been using those into all the different other uh, tests as well. And the ProtoDAC on top. And we're feeding them with the uh, switching power supply, the i5 one that I have. The FIFO Pi by in uh, requires a 3.3 volt for the clean side of it. So I was feeding that with the uh, battery uh, power supply. For that, you can use the LifePO4 Mini. I'll put a link of it uh, below as well. If, uh, and uh, what I've noticed was it's almost as good, actually. It's not bad. So, uh, but it was just a tiny bit 
less airy and maybe not as the soundstage, not as wide as it was before, but not a lot, just a small little difference. Uh, so it's up to you to make that decision. That's also an observation on, on my system here. It could be different uh, on your system. And the last try I did was just the uh, Raspberry Pi and the ProtoDAC and powered by just a you know, switching power supply, the iFi as well. And I was expecting the sound to fall apart. And I was actually very surprised that it didn't. Uh, I was like, whoa, actually, this is not too bad, even just with the Raspberry Pi. Now, it wasn't as good as for sure. I mean, there was a big degradation in sound here, but it wasn't as big as I thought it was going to be. The biggest thing was the sound was much louder, uh, so I had to adjust the volume to level them up, and also more boomier a little bit. The bass was a bit boomier, and the, uh, the mids suffered quite a bit. They weren't as smooth as, as, uh, as they were before. Uh, so, yes, it's, it's really good. Say you want to use it for, you know, a background in some room or some other thing. So it's really cheap because you just have to use a Raspberry Pi and the ProtoDAC. Both of them, you're still uh, close to $100. And uh, you can get yourself a really nice uh, system that can power, you know, an auxiliary room or anything like that without, you know, a huge... Uh, degradation in the sound quality. Uh, but there was not so difference. So I think the moral of this is a reclocker, a reclocking device would be very important, I think. Uh, something like uh, a Kali by Allo, but like I said before, I prefer the uh, FIFO Pi uh, MA, for example, from uh, in Canada. In my case, I've been using the FIFO Q7 because that's one I have. Uh, lying around. Also, changing, playing with the clocks could make uh, quite a difference as well. I'll be using the Christec clocks in, in this case. But still, I think uh, you get to see a little bit an idea of sound in its different, uh, different setups and with different, uh, with different equipment. One thing about these chips is because there's not a lot of them out there, it's a vintage chip, so eventually they're going to be harder and harder to find. Uh, so, you know, this is not a DAC that's going to keep going for years and years. When, once the word gets out, uh, those chips will, won't be too many of them available around. So, uh, right now they're really expensive, under 10 bucks, which is kind of like dirt cheap. I'm going to be making a couple more videos on DACs and, uh, that you can put in, uh, in your unit. Also, there is one big project about a very elaborate DAC system that's also coming in the pipeline. If you enjoy the channel, please subscribe and help with some thumbs up. And uh, I'm also going to try to push this Proto DAC to the limit. We're going to give it some really clean power supply on its own and uh, maybe even put two of them together and do like a balanced version out of it. I think it looks very promising, so I really want to give that DAC a try because I, I really love how it sounds. I also, uh, waiting for some more uh, parts from me in Canada, we're going to be uh, demonstrating some other DACs and also some different parts here and there. He's got some a lot of uh, pipeline coming up. He's so overwhelmed, I think. He's got so many things coming out. I, I see all his products out and I really like his products. So it's always interesting to give those a try as well and see how it goes. I've got some lot of vintage videos coming out in the pipeline as well and some non-related videos that has nothing to do with audio as well from time to time. It is my life journey at, at, uh, as I see it uh, for this channel. All right, so I hope to see you again. Take care and uh, see you around.